So you picked up a new game called Terraria. You wanted to experience it for yourself. But you don't know how to defeat the first ever boss, which is normally the Eye of Cthulhu. Now normally, the King Slime is the first and easiest boss, but it's very rare to spawn on its own. And you don't have the necessary things to craft the summon. Well today, I am going to show you what you are going to need to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. If we go over to this lovely lovely chest and open it, you will see I have a bunch of things that we need. Let's go over them real quick. We have the Star Fury, a sword that lodges projectiles from the sky. Now, where you can find this is on the Sky Islands. Usually what you need for that is a Gravitation Potion. Or, if you are very very lucky, you can just find it near the ground. Next up is the Ice Boomerang, or you could go with the Ice Sword, which can commonly be found in chests in the Snow Biome. Next up is the Boomstick. A nice little range weapon to defeat all of your enemies very early on in the game and later on be crafted into a much better shotgun where you can find this is in the jungle biome in random chests next up is the gold bow you can find gold anywhere in your world any gold ore you find pick that up and craft a bow if you don't find any gold in your world that means there are two types you could either spawn in with gold or you could spawn into a world with platinum ore which is the equivalent to gold next up is the snapthorn a weapon that is crafted out of spores vines and even stingers this could be also be found in the jungle biome Coming up next is the Cactus Armor. Once you spawn in, go to the left or right hand side of your world. You will find cacti everywhere in the desert. Craft this armor and get a nice sweet bonus for the beginning. How many you need is 75. Next up, the accessories. All the accessories different from what differ from what you want to equip in that world or in your character slot. What I would usually use is if you can find it in your world a cloud in a bottle or nature's gift, the feral claws, a quick band of regeneration, any type of boots that will make you run super fast and of course the jagged anklet now where you can find these is differing differing from where you are the cloud in a bottle can be found in any type of chest the nature's gift can be found from a plant in the jungle biome the glove can also be found in the jungle the band of rejuvenation can be found anywhere in the world. I usually got the flurry boots which is in the ice biome and of course the anklet of the wind is found in the jungle. Next up life crystals. You will need a lot of life crystals to beat the eye of Cthulhu. Mainly if you can get up to 20 hearts that would be amazing. Next up, any type of potion, but usually stack up on lesser healing potions and put it in a quick healing slot, which would help tremendously throughout the battle. And if you are very very lucky in the jungle in the houses, you would find a sharpening station. This will increase every attack for melee weapons and would be a great help. If you do not find or want to make cactus armor, you can make gold armor or even platinum armor, which has a better buff to the cactus armor. I hope this video helped a lot. 
please if you want to see next how to beat the bee which is located in the jungle and also a queen please let me know but until next time my friends